Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Michelle Fondon and I'm the author of Heal Yourself, A Return to Wholeness, The Integration of Body, Mind, Soul, and Spirit. I'm also the author of Twin Flame Romance, The Journey to Unconditional Love. All of my books are available in paperback, Kindle, and Audible books. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for subscribing below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. I do readings, 30, 60, and 90 minute readings, Twin Flame, Romance, Life, Path, and Purpose. You can book that at my website, michellefondenauthor.com. And if you are viewing this today, Monday, May 17th, 2021, tomorrow, May 18th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time, I'm holding a free Zoom webinar to tell you all about the Twin Flame Divine Feminine Boot Camps number one and number two. I'm going to be doing prizes and special promotions for the boot camps. You must register for this webinar. The link is below to register. This is the weekly Twin Flame Tarot Reading Messages for Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, and the Couple. Today is Monday and it is May 17th, 2021. How are you doing, Twin Flame? So let's just get started with a prayer over the cards. Dear God, Jesus, Holy Spirit, Mother Mary, Archangels, Angels of God, Twin Flames, Guardian Angels, let this reading be the highest light and love of God the Father. Let it bring light, love, and truth to everyone involved. Archangel Michael, please stand guard, casting away any lower energies with your sort of light. We are going to start with the Divine Feminines for this week. We're using two tarot decks and the World of Answers Oracle. So we're going to start with the goddesses, Divine Feminines. First, to see what Divine Feminines guardian angels have to say for what Divine Feminines are learning this week. So Divine Feminines Twin Flames. And next, we're going to pick from the Animal Tarot deck. Animal Tarot. So this is the second Tarot card here for the Divine Feminines in this collective. Next, we're going to pick from the World of Answers. The World of Answers Oracle here for Divine Feminines in this collective. Next, we're going to go ahead and pick four Divine Masculines. Divine Masculine Twin Flames, Divine Masculine's Guardian Angels. What do Divine Masculines need to know to learn and to grow this week? And let's see what we can get here. And from the Animal Tarot, I love this tarot deck. It's very cute. You guys will see when the, when the cards come up. This is a very, very cute deck by Radley Valentine. I love it. And the World of Answers for DMs. And next for the Twin Flame couple, here we go for the Twin Flame couple. What do the Twin Flames in this collective as union energies, and what do they need to know this week, angels? Next, the Animal Tarot for the Twin Flame couple as well. Here we go. And the World of Answers for the Twin Flame couple. And next, let's pick the romance energy for this week. Romance angels, what is the twin flame union energy for this week? Please give us the romance energy. And this is the messages of love. This is going to confirm or slightly change the meaning of the romance energy. Here we go. Twin flame couple. And let's get some Hidden Truth Oracle. These are messages from Divine Masculine to the Divine Feminine in this collective here. Divine Masculines, what is in your heart space for this week starting May 17th, 2021 to your Divine Feminines? What's going on in your heart? Awesome. Let's start with the Divine Feminines here. I like this. This is really, really, really nice. This is all about a new beginning. Now, this has been an ongoing thread for like the past 
three to four weeks about new beginnings, new beginnings, fresh start, crossroads, new beginnings. And this week for Divine Feminines, it is no different. We've got the Ace of Winter. Look at this little panda bear there. This is in traditional tarot. This is the Ace of Swords. So what does this represent? This represents a new beginning and a fresh start, but it's often like a rocky new beginning, a new beginning with some obstacles in the path. It's not like a straight forward path, but it's more like a twisty and turny path. So it has some obstacles, some mountains to climb, but it certainly means do not give up. Now, what do I think this new beginning is about? We have love, right? The king of water is a very loving king. And it's also about a trustworthy relationship coming in. So this could be your twin flame relationship coming back, having a new beginning that's a little bit rocky. But what I want you to do, twin flame divine feminines, is approach the new beginning with amazement and childlike wonder. <laughs> um, what I'm seeing here is that this is you being presented with this new beginning, but taking it on with the innocence of a child, taking it on with everything that is new. So you know when you meet, you meet a new love and everything is so new and wondrous and you're awestruck and you really adore this person. When your twin flame divine masculine comes back to you, divine feminines, this is the way to approach the connection with that awe, childlike wonder, and embracing the newness, no matter how rocky of a start it is. It's just about being open. Being open and not being jaded from your past, not having this like past garbage that you're bringing forward into your flourishing future. And it's rather just take it for what it is because when the king of water shows up, and I really like this, I mean, you could be dealing with a water sign such as a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or you could be dealing with, you know, just a very trustworthy partner if this is your twin flame coming back in maturity. This is not like the Knight of Cups, Knight of Water. This is like the mature version. <laughs> and this person, this King of Water, is really ready for commitment. This King of Water is ready to take things to the next level and is very trustworthy. So I would say if your DM is ready to move forward with you, they are gonna be coming back with this more mature energy and not so much that Knight of Cups or that, that like raw, teenage lust or young adult lust. Um, this is more about, I want a responsible relationship. I'm looking for something more committed now. I'm ready for this. So look out for those clues actually. Okay, and actually above here, I'm gonna put the 10 signs that your DM is ready for reunion just so you can kind of have a parameter as to whether or not they are actually ready. So for divine masculines, we've got, I like this, We've got Divine Masculines noticing the signs to move forward and looking inside toward their psychic abilities and kind of like their hunches and intuition as to the when, when is go time. Basically, that's that. And even though the full moon is a little further away, it's going to take place on May 26th where we'll have a total lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. So it's a little ways away, it's not this week. But I feel like there's some empowerment in this total lunar eclipse on May 26, and DMs are getting ready for this. And this is all through intuition. This is all through signs and synchronicities. And they're waiting for the right moment to kind of pounce forward. We've got the links here and the moon card. And I don't see this as DMs being necessarily in shadow energy anymore because we have this notice the signs and I feel like they are noticing the signs and synchronicities of this twin flame connection. And I feel like it's more, they're waiting just like the cat, the big cat, the lynx, right? They're waiting for the right time to pounce forward, to jump forward. And they're really tuning into these synchronicities. They're really tuning into these signs. They're tuning into their hunches. I'm hearing the word hunches. They're, they're really tuning into their own hunches as to the appropriate time to come forward toward their divine feminines in this more mature energy. And the reason I say that is because I see this three of fire, which is a more mature energy. The three of fire, three of wands is about making long-term plans. This is not a fly by night ordeal. 
This is about seriously making those long-term plans with something that's going to stick, something that's going to stay, something that might take patience to grow, but it is something that is to be treasured. It's something big that's going to be coming in and waiting for that shift to come in and waiting for the proper moment to move forward, pounce forward with those signs and synchronicities that for them, the universe is saying the time is right. So I really believe that DMs are really tuning in more to their own intuition and just noticing the things that are going to cause them to move forward appropriately toward their divine feminines. And they're really listening to this intuition. And I, I like it. I really, I feel like they're in, many of them are in very, very good energy to be able to appropriately move forward and not just pouncing forward in um in a willy-nilly way but to come forward in a calculated manner because the big cats and i like the fact that there's a links here the big cats that are predators they only take calculated risks they're going to take a calculated risk when they know that they can win they're not going to waste their energy on miscalculated risks so they're going to they're going to take their chances when they know they can actually catch their prey, if you will. And I know it kind of sounds like a bad analogy, but that's the analogy that I'm seeing about DM is that DM is going to take a calculated risk to move forward when the timing is right and not waste their energy on a half measure. Okay, so for the twin flame couple, we've got this... Um, Queen of Earth with the Five of Autumn. So this is a little bit of push-pull. Queen of Earth is all about manifestation. And Five of Pentacles, Five of Autumn. You see this manatee there? The manatee looks kind of sad. And I don't know, man, I don't know. Maybe it doesn't look sad. Maybe it does look happy. <laughs> you know, I feel like the twin flames are actually in manifestation mode, high, vib high vibrational manifestation mode, and being able to manifest everything, money, abundance, love, happiness, joy. But there's still this underlying fear about manifestation and saying, well, maybe I'm not good enough at this, or maybe I am not talented enough at this, or maybe it's just good luck. And that's what I hear a lot of you saying is that in this time of joy and manifestation, I really feel like a lot of you are just like, oh, that was just a fluke or, oh, that's just good luck. Or yeah, if my, if my twin flame reaches out to me, oh, it's just, you know, a fluke. Cause they do reach out like once a month or once every two months. I feel like you need to get away from this negative thinking twin flames for DMs and DS and just move toward I am in a period of powerful manifestation and I can manifest any desire that I want to create. Because look, you have this release, control, relax, and have fun. And I feel like when you are bogged down with these negative thoughts, it's going to ruin the fun of manifesting your desires. And if you relax and release control, and just put your intentions and desires out there into the universe when it comes to your love life, your work, your money situation, your children, and your own social life. What I feel is that when you just let go and let God and you release control and you get out of that worry energy, that you'll have so much more fun and you'll be able to see the magic and mystery in your life unfold. And you'll be able to say thank you for the miracles. You'll be able to say thank you, miracles. Thank you, God, for bringing these miracles rather than being afraid of the good things that are coming because that's totally ridiculous. And I feel that many of you who are attributing these good things coming into your life as good luck, you're kind of like getting into that mode of Oh, I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched. You know, you're, you're kind of in that negative mode of like, I don't want to talk about good things because if I talk about good things then they may not show up, I think you need to have the reverse mindset of expectation. Like I expect good things to be happening. I'm a powerful manifester and I'm loved by the creator of the universe and good things coming to me is part of the natural flow of things.
let's look to this romance energy. Yeah, you know, I'm still seeing this. It's really funny because in the union energies, we are um, seeing, you know, the manifestation, part of that is manifesting money. Part of that is manifesting a job. And in the romance energies, I see that there's a lot of passion in this connection. And maybe you guys are coming back together and maybe the finances are not ideal. Maybe there's still one of you that doesn't have a job or trying to pay off debt or trying to catch up after COVID. And um, don't let that get in the way of your passion though. Again, this, this is a similar message to the union tarot message is do not let it get in the way of the joy, the passion, the love, the, the fun times of coming back together. Maybe finances aren't good right now. Maybe finances are just not in the place where you'd like them to be. This could be for DM or DF, but you could have fun that's free, right? You don't have to do fancy things. And I feel like don't put a damper on your own joy of this reunion, of the reunion energies coming together. Do not do that because everything is not perfect. Not everything is going to be perfect. And that's something I've said before. Not everything is going to be perfect. Just know that. But it doesn't mean you put a damper on your fun. It doesn't mean you put a damper on the magic of you guys coming back together, the amazement and the childlike wonder of you guys coming back together or getting back into contact with each other. Not everything is going to be perfect. And finances I'm seeing this week, it's a big one. I feel like for some of you, there's been some bad news, either with taxes or not getting your tax return on time or whatever it is, or maybe the unemployment has run out and you haven't found another job yet, but that doesn't mean that you need to put a damper on the passion, the fun, the, the wonder that comes with the reunion of the twin flame couple. Let's see the messages from DM here. Yeah, DM is still, uh, again, we, we still have that like a little bit of reticence but I want to get another message from DM here. DMs, can you please give us another message from your heart space? And I believe the messages are more like, you know, DM sitting in the bushes, you know, like the lynx. DM is sitting in the bushes like the lynx. And I want one more angels, please. Divine masculines, guardian angels, divine masculines, higher selves. What is one more, please? Yeah, look at this. There <laughs> They're really looking for the signs and synchronicities, guys. Um, they're like the lynx waiting in the bushes to pounce forward at the appropriate time with a calculated risk. And they're wondering, the reason why they were waiting in the bushes with a calculated risk is because they're not sure. They're not sure how you feel still. So I wonder if you are happy without me. I don't react when people mention you, if you guys know people in common. Um, you were the best thing in my life. And look at this one. The fourth message I got is I will wait for a sign from you. And look, we got the notice the signs for DM. And now this could be a sign from your higher self, divine feminines. It could be a sign from your guardian angels to your divine masculine's guardian angels. Now, you know what, divine feminines? It is perfectly acceptable for you to ask your guardian angels to send messages and signs to your divine masculine's guardian angels, you know you can do that. So if you want to send your divine masculine's guardian angels some signs this week, you can ask your guardian angels and just say, look, can you please let my divine masculine know that I'm ready, willing, and able to be back together with them, that I'm not happier without them, that I would like to be with them. Give them signs that might be significant that might remind them of me. So, you know, there is a way you could do this indirectly so you don't have to like directly reach out. That's not a sign. When you directly reach out, that's not a sign. They're looking for signs from the universe. They're really, really looking for signs from the universe. With that moon energy, that is about things hidden. It's not about things overt. Even the three of fire, the three of wands is about things hidden. It's about good things to come. It's not about things that are out in the open yet. It's like, you know, when you're waiting for a ship to come in from the ocean to the shore, 
you don't know exactly where it is, but you know that it's coming. So that is what DM is looking for. They're looking for those signs that are kind of coming out of nowhere in order to have validation that it is the right moment to move forward towards you, Divine Feminine. So it's really funny how they're in this really calculated energy about coming forward, but honestly, the calculated energy shows maturity because that means they're not just reaching out willy nilly to be in that Knight of Cups energy, which is more the boy energy. And you know, if your DM is a female, take the equivalent, whatever the immature female version of the Knight of Cups might be, you know, that just that immature, like game playing, I just want to see if you still like me energy. That's not what the, these divine masculines in this collective are going for. They're going for the more calculated risk that they're going to take that's going to bring them to the long term in this more mature space. So of course, when they're in this more mature space, they want to make sure that the moves that they make are going to be the right ones and the mature ones. So that is what they're looking at this week. But I would say stay in the positive energy. Realize, Twin Flame, that you are a powerful manifester and that there is no need to shy away from your positive manifestations. So I hope this helped this week. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for subscribing to my channel below. Click on that bell, scroll up to all for all notifications. And thank you for giving the video a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing this video with other Twin Flames. Hey, don't forget to sign up for the webinar tomorrow, Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time. The link is below. And thank you so much for your support of this channel. You can buy a book or two or three. You can pledge your support on Patreon, www.patreon.com forward slash Michelle S. Fonten. And I will see you in the next video.